Ah. Okay. So, dear brothers and sisters uh, in Christ. I bring you love and greetings uh, from all the brethren in India. So it's been uh, a joy to see you all. So after three months, uh, you all uh, come to a uh, quite understanding of the basic classes. And uh, you all uh, decided to gather in one place. So that uh, brings uh, a lot of joy and uh, happiness to us. So many brethren all over the world are uh, praying for you. So they all uh, rejoice uh, in the way you are all uh, receiving the truth. So we welcome you all in the name of Christ. And I also thank my Lord uh, for giving the opportunity to come visit uh, you physically. So, usually we used to meet only on Zoom. So, uh, now I am able to identify physically who is who. Sister Anu, Sister Sunita, Brother Anil, Brother Joel, Sister Romi. So other names I'll remember by tomorrow. <laughs> okay, so uh, today we'll go to the subject. And uh, this subject is very important subject. So to understand this subject, uh, you need to have a lot of faith on the Bible. And uh, whatever scriptures we show it to you, so request everybody to kindly open it from the Bible and read it for yourself. So this class actually it will be usually for 12 hours. So today we will have only one part. So probably tomorrow another two or three parts will have it. So kindly listen to the entire portion. So today we will put you just only one part. So tomorrow entire part will be completely covered. So I'm sure all your doubts will definitely be cleared by end of tomorrow evening. So even after tomorrow evening class, if you have any doubts, we can definitely discuss on that one. Any questions, any doubts you have, uh, no hesitation, you can ask all the questions. 
संख्या छौ भने तपाईहरुले सोध्न सक्नुहुन्छ है न हिस्ट्रीलाई गर्न तपाईहरुले एउटा एसएल दिनुस् ओके सो टुडे व्हाट इज आवर सब्जेक्ट अनि आज चाहिँ के होला त सो आवर सब्जेक्ट इज अबाउट म्यान अनि आजको विषय चाहिँ मानिसको बारेमा सो व्हाट इज म्यान कम्पोज्ड अफ अनि म्यान चाहिँ कसरी बनिएको छ त हाउ गॉड क्रिएटेड म्यान so before going what the bible says about man how he was created so we will first look in to the different views about man in various religions bible ma hernu bhanda agadi chai है विभिन्न धर्महरुले मानिसले चाहिँ कसरी बनेको छ भन्ने धारणाहरुलाई चाहिँ पहिले हामी हेर्नु पर्छ देन वी विल सी व्हाट द बाइबल सेज अबाउट म्यान अनि त्यस पश्चात मात्रै बाइबलले चाहिँ मानव कसरी बनेको भन्ने कुरा चाहिँ हामी हेर्न सक्छौ व्हाट इज ही कम्पोज्ड अफ अनि मानवले कसरी बनेको भन्ने कुरालाई हाउ वाज ही क्रिएटेड Okay, so before looking into what other religions tell, now first let us look in what the scientists believe. Science. Doctors and the scientists they believe that man was created from a monkey. So man was created from an amoeba, a small protozoa, a small cell. So from a monkey is developed to be an ape. And from then he has come to the Iron Age, from the Stone Age to Iron Age. And uh, he has come to the Computer Age. So he is developing So after death what happens to man? If he ask them they tell that man leaves this earthly life and goes to the spiritual life so this is the belief of the scientist so man leaves this earthly life and goes to the spiritual life Okay, now let us see what other religion believes. Other religion believes that uh, there is a one supreme God. So there is a, there is a supreme God, not one God. Mm. So he is the one who has created everybody. And uh, there is something that is inside God. So with that one, man is created. So once if a man dies, the thing which God has put inside man, so 
they believe that is called as soul. So that doesn't die. Because God himself is a universal soul. So as God doesn't die, similarly, his soul, which is in man, doesn't die. So, once if a man dies, this soul returns to God and unites to God. Therefore, you see, uh, in various religions, they believe that uh, there are faces in life. So, mankind is being purified in this life. From birth to death, then is Atma, uh, that means the soul is uh, uh, immortal. It is uh, purified and it goes to God. And they believe that uh, this uh, uh, development or this uh, purification of the soul has uh, seven janmas. Therefore, when they marry, they tell, uh, for seven janmas, you'll be my wife. So, in this janma, if you have done a lot of mistakes, in next janma, you will be born as a crow or a donkey or a dog. So this is the theory of reincarnation. So at the seventh janma, your soul is purified. It goes to heaven. And it goes and joins with God. So there is no death for the soul. This is the this is the belief of the various other religions. Therefore, when somebody dies, they do a lot of uh, religious uh, activities, a lot of rituals. They offer food for this crow. If the crow comes and eats, uh, they believe that the grandfather's soul is uh, uh, satisfied. Okay. Now, if you come to Christianity, they also believe a similar thing. As a man dies, his soul goes to heaven. Stand before Jesus Christ. Jesus will open the book of life. And judge everybody as per the works written in the book. If you are done good, you will go to heaven. 
So if you have done bad, you will go to hell. So here also they believe that the soul doesn't die. So everybody in this world believes that man has a soul. So this soul is captivated inside this body. So this soul is always trying to get out from this body. And walk freely. And get moksha. So they believe once a man dies, this soul is uh, made free. So it is got liberty. Released from the prison. It is more happy than living inside the flesh. Okay, if this is all true, that uh, if a man dies, his soul goes out and it is more happy than staying inside the body. Then, why do we take medicines when we are not feeling well? When we are not feeling well, rather die. Because at death, our soul is liberated. It's more happy. So why immediately we'll go to the hospital, tell doctor, please save. Uh, if somebody dies, everybody starts crying. Why cry? We should rejoice, no, oh, his soul is uh, become uh, free, he's more happy, so let us all clap hands. <laughs> But till now, nobody has done that one. So we need to think. So, uh, and moreover, if uh, the soul dies, so soul doesn't die, then why is the resurrection? Why the resurrection is mentioned in the Bible? Moreover, uh, man, uh, if he is liberated from, uh, his soul is liberated from the body, in the resurrection, why the soul will come again inside the body? So, we need to study all these things. So, it is uh, useless to bring again the soul into captivity. And moreover, 
uh, this soul doesn't have any size, shape, or it is not visible, and it doesn't have weight also. So it is something like what you see there. A small uh, lamp, we can put a lot of uh, uh, souls inside that one. So that's the general belief. You, you can't see it. Today, the technology is so developed. Nothing can escape the scanning machine. There is infrared, a laser, various types of alarm. Even yesterday, when I came in the airport, each and everything was small, small item was scanned. But even till today, there is no device that has been invented to clearly identify how the soul escapes from the human body. If a small mosquito goes inside the safe locker, you will get an alarm in the bank. But how come this important soul, it escapes the body, still nobody can see? So even till today, there is no record of such things happening in this world. So we have heard so many stories. But is there any live record? No clear scientific proof. Okay, let us see what does the Bible say. Because some people believe uh, only human souls uh, are immortal. So what about the animals? Let us read Ecclesiastes 3rd chapter 19 and 20. <laughs> Nepali, somebody can read. So here the Bible says all of them go to the same place. So if man dies, then if his, his soul goes to hell or heaven, then surely the soul of animals also should go to hell or heaven. 
इंटरप्रिटेशन दिस इज नॉट वॉट दाइबल से The Bible clearly says that the soul dies. The Bible 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 says that the soul But this is what the Bible says. So let us read a few verses. Ezekiel eighteen four. Very good. So read in English with the Ezekiel eighteen four. Behold, all souls are mine, as the soul of the father, so also the soul of the son is mine. The soul that in it. It shall die. Aha! Uh -huh. See the soul that sinneth, it shall die. That means soul dies. There is one more verse, Ezekiel eighteen twenty. And also the fourth point, which is Ezekiel eighteen twenty four. वेरी गुड सो हियर ऑल्सो इट से सोल दिनथ इट शेल डाई So if you tell like this, some people will tell, brother, the sinner's soul will die. And we are not like this. We are not like this. But but we are not sinners. All our sins are forgiven. And so our soul doesn't die. And we are not like this. 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 We are Even after accepting Christ, the Bible says that we are still sinners. And if we show Christ like this, we are still sinners. And if we show Christ like this, we are still sinners. And if we show Christ like this, we are still sinners. And if we show Christ like this, we are still sinners. And if we show Christ like this, we are still sinners. And if we show Christ like this, we are still sinners. And if we show Christ like this, we are still sinners. And if we show Christ like this, we are still sinners. And if we show Christ like this, we are still sinners. And if we show Christ like this, we are still sinners. And if we show Christ like this, we are still sinners. And if we show Christ like this, we are still sinners. And if we show Christ like this, we are still sinners. And if we show Christ like this, we are still sinners. And if we show Christ like this, we are still sinners. And if we show Christ like this, we are still sinners. And if we show Christ like this, we are still sinners. And if we show Christ like this, we are There is none righteous, not even one. And read First John one eight. Muna sister, Muna sister, you can also read if you are there online.
First John 1 8, Munaster. You want to read? Okay, somebody can read. Very good. So here it says, if you say that we have no sin, then there is no truth in us. So we are all sinners. And even all our souls also die. <laughs> Therefore, Psalms 22 29 says that none can keep alive their own soul. <laughs> Please read Psalms 22 29. <laughs> Very good. So none can keep his soul alive. So our soul also dies. It's a way. Psalms 3517. Very good. So here also, David prays to save his soul from death. That means soul dies. Read James 5.20. So, soul dies, hence it can be saved from death. Therefore, there is a death for the soul also. So generally, the people believe that uh, the soul is invisible. Even if you keep a uh, take a sword and keep on cutting it, uh, again it will get life. So nothing will happen to the soul. So you can't kill it, you can pierce it. See what does the Bible say? Joshua 11, 11. Ah, they swore. You see, they smote all the souls by the sword. That means soul can be destroyed with a sword. Not only it can be killed, you can pierce it with a sword also. Uh, 
Okay. Okay. Thank you, sister. Thank you. Can somebody read from here? Look two thirty five. Can you read it? See, the sword shall pierce through thy soul. Some people think that soul is invisible and nothing hurts it. Even if a car comes and hits it, also nothing will happen. It will keep on laughing. Ah, <laughs> See, what does the Bible say? <laughs> Jeremiah 2.34 <laughs> Jeremiah 234. Yeah. Mm. Ah, that soul has bled and that blood is found in the skirt, it seems. Generally, people think that soul doesn't have blood. So, if it is a soul, they tell how do you identify first to see the leg? Because soul legs won't be there. Even if the leg is there, it will be ulta. <laughs> and, and even if you pinch, nothing will happen. If you pierce also, blood won't come. Oh, that is a real soul. And it oh, one egg on a pran. What does the Bible say? Soul has bled. And some people think soul can eat a lot of food. Keep on eating, keep on eating, keep on eating. Unlimited food. What does the Bible say? How much can it eat? Can it eat or not? Still, some people believe that soul is uh, uh, not at all hungry. Read Exodus 12 4. Munastar, you can also read. Whenever you want, you can you can also read. You can unmute and read. There was quite disturbance from your mic last time. Please unmute and read sir, whenever you want. Exodus 12.4. Prasthan Barakuchar. Prasthan Barakuchar. Pata can name the Sano Boyo Bonnet, Tisle Afno Gorko Nojiko, Afno Chimiki Songa Mani Soruko Songa Anusar Uta Pato Leos, 
अनि तिमी तिमीहरू हरेकले आफ्नो खुवाई अनुसार पाठाका निम्ति गन्ती निकाल्नु भेरी गुड सर थ्यांक यू सो हियर मोसेस वाज एडवाइज्ड टू टेक ए लैम्प फॉर द पास ओवर अकॉर्डिंग टू द नंबर ऑफ द सोल्स सोल डाइस Yes, Jesus himself said that the soul dies in Matthew ten twenty eight. And Jesus Christ never any any prayer about that. No, by the way, Ram said, "Mother, read Matthew ten twenty eight." Matthew ten forty five. Holy, 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 my name is. डिस्ट्रॉइड Very good. So let us read one more verse in Matthew sixteen twenty five to twenty six. Sorry, Matthew twenty six thirty eight. Sorry, please forgive. Matthew twenty six thirty eight. See, our soul dies. What about Jesus' soul? Some people tell no, no, but Jesus soul never dies. I mean, any man who has one or two, one or two, Jesus will pray for him. But see what Jesus Himself tells in Matthew twenty-six-thirty-eight. My soul is exceedingly sorrowful unto death. That means his soul also can die. Yes, Jesus Christ को प्राण पनी चाहे मरता सा। We know clearly in Isaiah fifty-three ten. उसले to redeem adam and his children jesus had to give a ransom and adam and adam ko santan lai chai paap bata chai mukta garauna ko nimti chai yesu christ le chai chutkara ko mol chai tirnu bhayo to redeem all the souls of adam and his children jesus soul had to die and adam ra adam ko santan haru ko pran lai chai bachauna ko nimitta chai yesu christ le chai His soul was supposed to be offered as a sin offering. Read Isaiah fifty-three twelve also. 
एसआईआर तीन पन्ना को बारह पॉइंट पर ही पॉइंट दिया है। इस कारण वाहन और को साथ में मौके पर ही बाहर दिए जो अनिवार्य से साफ़ी सारी और समान रूप को मार पार नहीं था कि नहीं उसने आपको प्राण जेनिस को मार पोकी दिए कुछ हो अनि वो अपराधी और समान भारी हो अनि उसने साइन तेरे जाना को पार पोकियो तो अपराधी और उसका जिंदगी अंतर जिंदगी पड़ी so poured out his soul unto death so his soul also died so there are so many other verses also which clearly tells that the soul dies now the next question comes to us then what is soul so we need to see the answer from the Bible. For the Bible, which is a dictionary? Tell me. Very good. For the Bible, Bible is a dictionary. Uh, Any questions from the Bible, the answer should be searched from the Bible itself. The, the definition of soul first time is given in the book of Genesis 2.7. There, the creation of man is clearly given. Read Genesis 2 7. Very good. So here, clearly, is given how man was created. Man was created from the dust of the ground. And God breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. So, man is a soul. It doesn't say that man has a soul. So, man became a living soul. It says, it doesn't say that inside man there was a soul. So, as per the Bible, soul means man himself is a soul. Not that he has a soul. He himself is a soul. So, in original Greek Bible, if you see the definition of soul, it says he is a sentient being. Being. That means the one who feels senses. One who realizes and has feelings. This verse says how man was created. He was created from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. Then man became a living soul. Uh, 
So, what do you mean by God created man from the dust? अनि मानिस लाई चाहिँ परमेश्वरले चाहिँ डस्ट बाट बनाउनु भयो है धुलो बाट बनाउनु भयो भन्नु भएको अर्थ चाहिँ के होला सो डिड ही गॉड मेक ए डॉल फ्रॉम द क्ले अनि के उहाँले चाहिँ माटो द्वार द्वारा नै चाहिँ त्यो मानिस लाई बनाउनु भएको हो त अहिले देन जस्तो देन जस्तो देन गॉड डिड ही टेल एंड गिवन द ब्रेथ अनि त्यसपछि परमेश्वरले गरेर चाहिँ सास फेर दिनु भयो फुकी दिनु भयो नो डस्ट मीन्स अनि माटो अथवा धुलो भनेको चाहिँ ऑल द केमिकल कम्पाउन्ड्स इन द अर्थ अ पृथ्वी पनि केमिकल छ रसायनिक कुराहरु हुन्छ नि हो त्यस द्वारा चाहिँ परमेश्वरले बनाउनु भयो भन्न खोजेको गॉड युज्ड ऑल दिस थिंग्स टु क्रिएट म्यान अ जति पनि कुराहरु छ नि भूमिमा पाइन्छ नि त्यो सब्स्टेन्स है त्यो के रसायन द्वारा चाहिँ परमेश्वरले बनाउनु भएको So man is having more than twenty thousand five hundred chemical compounds in him. Uh, how many? Twenty thousand four five hundred. More than twenty thousand five hundred chemical compounds. Hey. What is the one? अपने बड़ी रसायन कुरा आलो बने बात तो आते हैं मानिस से बने को. He has so much fat that we can manufacture a soap. Ah, मानिस माते ये भी ढेर रहे हैं. मानसिकारे He has lead also. We can manufacture lead pencils. He has sulfur also. We can manufacture one matchbox. He has phosphorus also. So so many chemicals are there in man. Hence, if you are not feeling well, the doctors will give medicine. What medicines they'll give? Ani kunche also give no answer. You take at the tablet. Back side they will put potassium, calcium, magnesium, iron. Correct, na? रसायनिंगटे माटो बाटो भन्ने गर्दा यो पुरै माटो नै बाटो बनाउनु भएको हैन तर माटोमा पाइने त्यो रसायन द्वारा चाहिँ परमेश्वरले मानिसलाई बनाउनु भएको हो के एन्स इफ यु आर नट फीलिंग वेल व्हाट विल द डाक्टर टेल इमेजिन इफ यु आर नट यु हैव इफ यू आर हैविंग फीवर इफ यू गो टु द डाक्टर डाक्टर व्हाट विल ही टेल टु ईट अनि यदि हामीलाई ज्वरो आयो है हामीलाई सन्चो छैन भनेर हामी डाक्टरकोमा जान्छौ अनि डाक्टरले के खाऊ भन्नु हुन्छ विल ही टेल गो टेक 1 केजी बीफ तरकारी because those things has vitamins proteins carbohydrates all these things are chemicals these things are got from the earth from the dust of the ground this is the reason and this is the way man was created yes take yes take
लार्जेस्ट बोन एक्सपेन्सिव One small heart attack will cost you eight lakhs rupees. Ano, ano to mas samas kya hai? Eight lakh rupees pono dalo. Just to clear one block, eight lakhs rupees. Ah, ah, na na, rokhi ko pura lai, nikal na lai ki eight lakh pono dalo. From mother's womb, no blockage, all the functions will be free of cost. Ano ko? को वेरी वेल So this is how God created man. See, it had body, it had eyes, it had legs, it had everything. अनि शरीर मात्र सभी बुरा थे, आँखा थी, खुट्टा थी, कान थी, सभी बुरा थे। But there was no life. अनि क्या है जो जीवन तो थे नहीं? So God had created a body. It had eyes but could not see. It had uh, legs but it could not move. It had heart but did not pump. So blood was there. It was not flowing. So God put the breath of life. Then man became a living soul. He began to function. His eyes began to see. Heart began to pump. And blood began to flow. So he began to think. He began to walk. So this is how man became a living soul. So body. Only was not a soul. Ah, sorry, matra je pran hoy nae. No, only body, no soul. Sorry, matra je pran hoy na. Similarly, only breath of life. 
was also not a soul. Jivan ko saas matre pani. Jivan prani se hoy na, pran se hoy na. So both together, body and breath of life, together only made a man as a living being. Oh, जब आप शरीर रा जीवन को सास से मिलता था तो वे मात्र के मानुष से जीवित प्राणी बनता था। I'll give you a beautiful example. TV is there. TV is there. Body. Human body. Screen is there. Button is there. Everything is there. So immediately it will work. Will the program come? Uh, so what is required? Current is required. So once the current correct unites with that TV, immediately what will come? Program will come. Correct, uh, na? Uh, so, when TV is the current of the TV, what is the current of the TV? The current of the TV is the current of the TV. So only TV doesn't work. So only current also doesn't work. So TV has to be correctly united with the current. Then only program will come. So this uh, Translation in the Bible, they have done a lot of mistakes. They have, tra they have translated in different ways in all the Bible. But if all the places it would have been exactly and clearly translated. This uh, misunderstanding of immortal soul would have been totally cleared. In the uh, book of Genesis, first chapter itself, the word living creature, living creature comes several times. In all these places, actually, living soul, living soul should have come. But, but here, they have removed that word in the original Bible. Because they had a Preconceived mind that soul doesn't die. So, with the same thought, they were translated the Bible. Hence, if we read the Bible just like that, we can't understand. We need to sit and study. See, I'll tell you the example of uh, human mind. See, we all have preconceived idea. Like for example, I'll tell you. I'll tell you something you should not think. I have given this example to you. Uh, uh, previous time I given my example. So, yeah. what we tell not to think, automatically what will happen? <laughs> so, from childhood, every religion, every forefathers have taught everybody that the soul doesn't die. So, with that idea, if they keep on translating the Bible, how will they translate? 
विचार लही मनोभाव लाइबल उल्था कर But today we have the blessings of concordance. अने आज आते पहले लेते हमें लाइक ये परमिशन ले ये concordance दे रहा थे एकदम ही आशीष आशीष तो आउट टुडे वी हैव गूगल टेक्नोलॉजी वी कैन सर्च ये वी ईच एंड एवरी बड़ी वी कैन यू ओपन योर बाइबल ऑन द मोबाइल एंड चेक इट व्हाट इज़ द हिब्रू एंड द ग्रीक वर्ड आह अने पापे उस There are more than thousand verses which says the soul dies. So actually, in the Bible, the Hebrew word used for soul is nefesh. अने यूनानी भाषा में हमें ले ये सो बने ता हिब्रू भाषा में हमें ले ये सो बने जे हिब्रू माचे तो नेफिस बने शब्द चलाए को सर इट मींस ए ब्रीथिंग क्रिएचर अने यो बने को जे सांस छोड़ने प्राणी बनेर बने को ए ए लिविंग क्रिएचर ये जे जीवित प्राणी बने को सी यू कैन सी इन द बॉटम 36 टाइप्स ऑफ ट्रांसलेशन हैज बीन डन ये तो पहले स्क्रीन पे ना सोप नो छत्तीस प्राण 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 भन्ने आउनु पनि हो तर कुनै ठाउँमा जीवन कुनै ठाउँमा जीवित प्राणी कुनै ठाउँमा अन्य 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 कुराहरु भएको 36 वटा प्रकारले चाहिँ यी शब्दलाई चाहिँ अनुवाद गरिएको पाइन्छ इन ग्रीक द वर्ड यूज फॉर सोल इज सुकी अनि ग्रीक भाषामा चाहिँ सुकी सुकी भन्ने शब्द चलाइएको छ दिस इज अगेन ट्रान्सलेटेड इन फोर डिफरेंट वेज इन द बाइबल जो पनी चार और प्रकार लेते उल्टा गरीब कुछ आ। I'll show you an example। मतलब ये वाला उदाहरण दिन जान चुके। Read Mark ten forty five। Mark उस दस को पैंतालीस। कम Pran. So actually, it should be soul, no? In English, it should be soul. So Jesus came and gave his soul as a ransom. And in English, it was a life, one is of the life, one is of the life. So in Nepali, it is the life of the pran, one is of the. So in English, it was only soul, one is of the one, one is of the life of the. Why did they not put soul? Why did they not put pran, one is of the not the life of the? Because it will put a question in their mind. तब जीसस सोल डाइड है। आह यदि तेरे सोल बने सब तो चलाएगा ऐसे तेरे से ये यीशु कृष्ण को प्राण बने मर सा बने। Then people then people will think and ask their pastor। आह ने मार्च के सोच को सोच क्यों रहा ने पास्टर लाये बने को। Who doesn't know to reply? So they will get confused. आह ने एक बंद रखोल बने बाहर जाने वाला। So translated wrongly। आह ने सोल बने के बने सब दाये। I'll give you one more example, beautiful example. See, Matthew 16 chapter, 25 to 26. Udaran dinacha, ansu. 
जो मती सोलह को पच्चीस देख छब्बीस पद में इंग्लिश अब्जर्व क्लिनली एंड करेक्टली अब्जर्व इट आई टेल यू In verse twenty-five, he was speaking about life. And what is God? Matre, yani ra, jivan ko baare mein bolne ko sa. It's the same Greek word suki that is translated twice as life here. And same again, le ro ni jin suki one sabda nahi chalai ko sa, just matre jivan one chalai ko sa, sabda chhe. But if you come to verse twenty-six, that is uh, translated as soul. And ye jo chhodis pad ma hai, no sa, wani jitne soul. Why the same word, Greek word, is translated in the same verses in different way? Just to create a misunderstanding. This is how the Bible is mistranslated. So, if you correctly translated all these verses properly, it clearly says that soul dies. प्राण बचाए <laughs> The living Atma has come to the truth. They accept that Jesus and they are saved. Yeah, they must. Okay. Okay. So okay, good. They understood. Okay. Now the word spirit. Okay, Ajun. Uh, spirit. Atma. So that is. It actually comes from the Hebrew word ruach. And it is ruach. One. That meaning means it's a invisible power. And yes, को और था चाहे तो मैं नहीं मेरा सुना सही. Spirit को और था चाहे क्यों बने? अदृश्य शक्ति हो. Okay. So this uh, same word in Greek it means pneuma. And your Greek मार चाहे क्या चाहे बने? Pneuma बने सब बचा. Again, it means uh, it's an invisible power, the right to live. And you want to go and take the Adrisha Shakti or otherwise, you need a dikar. Oh, this part is right. So pneuma, you know that word pneuma. You have heard somewhere. So the pneuma, when they start the cutting, so no boy, sir. You know that uh, puma shoes. Huh? So pneumatic power. You have heard in your science. Have you gone to school? Puma, when they pneumatic kinetic power. Electric power, pneumatic power. Ah, oh, so no, so no. Ah, so nobody is. You are all men like me. Good. You are all in the same boat. <laughs> so, <laughs> so pneumatic means wind, wind power. Okay, the you the wind electricity is generated, no? So that is called as pneumatic. So that is pneumatic power. Man, it is the other. 
जैसे जून से हवा ले चलने भाई हवा को सक्षी बात चलने के इस तरह हो इट्स इनविजिबल एंड पावरफुल जैसे अधिक से सब और एकदम ही से सब सबसे साथी सब लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल वी सॉ टीवी उदाहरण को लागी हमने जो टीवी लाए हैं फॉर टीवी टू फंक्शन करंट शुड बी देयर अरे टीवी चलने को लागी जो क्या क्या चाहिए सब now current can we see the current ah hamile the current lai dekhna saksha see now current is going to this projector can we see current chai yaha projector ma gai rahecha hamile dekhi dekhi rahecha ni can we see we can't see but yet current is there ah it is invisible it is powerful hamile dekheka chaina tar yo ke cha sakti sali cha see on the electric poles there is current or there, current is there or not बल्ब हाँ द बल्ब हाँ रे जो क्या चीज़ है ना सी यू फील इट सोए रे जो अंदर आया था आज जाए ना अभी जब मैंने इस तो चीन बहुत ही बाल पर सो यू कैन्ट सी बट येट इट इस पावरफुल इनविजिबल पावर अभी देख रही हूँ पर एक दिन एक ही चाह सबसे साली चाह दिस इज़ द सेम मीनिंग दैट इज़ यूज्ड इन द बाइबल अभी तो वैसे बुझे हैं ना जानी आत्मा वाले के जो क्या रहता है तो अदृश्य शक्ति है आह नो लेट अस रीड ए फ्यू वर्सेस इन द बाइबल हाँ ना सामने के ही पौध हर लाइक है नहीं 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 चाहे जॉन फोर ट्वेंटी फोर आह यहाँ ना चार को चौबीस मुनास्तर यो देर ऑनलाइन यो लिसनिंग यस ब्रदर Good, good. Okay, sir. You can also read, sir. Would you like to read John four twenty four? Okay, brother. Parmeshwar Atma Ununcha Aniwa ko upasana garne aurule Atma ra sotte tamma upasana garnu parda cha. Very good, sir. Very good. So here it says, God is a spirit, and they that worship Him must worship Him in spirit and truth. Yeah, but you can see that sir, Parmeshwar ka Atma Ununcha ani jostne wala ise. इनजिबल पवार जीवन Now read in English. It is the spirit that quickeneth the flesh, profit nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Ah, the words which I speak, they are spirit. That means it is invisible, powerful. Now, see, I am speaking. Gopal brother is speaking. Can you see his words? It is coming. See, see, it is coming, 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 coming. Catch, catch, catch. No, but yet it is powerful. It it enters our mind through the ears and you see it changes us. It's got power. Ah, you see what that's all. Ambro. 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 Ambro
That's what Jesus said. The words which I speak, that is invisible power. Second Timothy 1 7. Ah, here it says God has given us a spirit of power. You see, power, love, and sound mind. Can we see our mind? No, but we can feel our mind. This mind has got power. Very good. Read Acts 1921. Okay, Good. Here, Apostle Paul took a decision in his spirit, it says. To go through Macedonia to Acacia and Rome. Now, where did he take the decision? What does the verse say? He took decision in? That means what? In his mind. That's invisible power. So oh. we can't read somebody's mind, but we can understand somebody's mind. Oh. So similarly, that is the feelings. Some people tell, no, you don't understand my feelings. I can't see your feelings. It is not visible to see. It is invisible power. This is the same word that is translated spirit in the Bible in all the places. This is what this is what God gave to Adam. The breath of life. This is not oxygen. This is not only oxygen. But this is the breath of life, the right to live. This comes only from God. See, there is a lot of oxygen in this room. If any patient is dying, doctors pump in the oxygen. Will they live? If they give oxygen. If that was the case, everybody would carry an oxygen cylinder. Emergency. <laughs> so that is only oxygen that is, doesn't have the right to leave, the permission to leave. That permission should come from God Himself. 
This is what God gave to Adam. This is the same thing that is given to man as well as beast. Both are the same. Same breath. Read Ecclesiastes 3rd chapter 19 to 21. Third chapter, third chapter, nineteen to twenty one. Very good. So, everybody is having the same breath. The same right to live. So, man is not differentiated in the breath of life compared to animals. The difference between man and animals is in the body organism. So you can see here, man is very small. But see the animals, they are very big, but their brains are very small. But only man has got a big brain. One eighth of his body weight is his brain. One eighth of his body weight is the brain. One by eight, eh? Say, Sarilko. So, man has got a superior body organism and brain. See, man can type, man can calculate, man can do the accounting, he can do the software. You see, he can do various activities. He can drive, he can drink, he can eat, he can cook. Everything he can do. He can reason also. But can the animals do the same thing? We can also tell them to put dress but do they have the common sense what to dress? We can tell the monkey to on the laptop or computer. But we can't tell him to do software and accounting. We can tell some animals to buy, ride the bicycle. We can't tell them to ride a car and take us to the office. They can eat food, but they can't cook food. So, this is the difference between man and animals. Not the breath of life. Everybody has the same breath of life. Good. Okay. Now, 
See, this is how God created mankind. Body plus spirit, he was a living being, a living soul. This was given upon a condition that they would remain obedient to God and not eat the tree, the forbidden fruit in the Garden of Eden. What did God say? If you eat the forbidden fruit, you shall surely die. Very good. What did God tell? Read Genesis 3.19. Genesis 3.19. Ah. Ah. So what did God say? You will return back to the dust as you were. That means he will go to the normal condition in which he was originally created. The body was formed from the dust. It will go to the dust. The breath of life, who gave it? So, that breath, that life, the right to live went to God. Very good. That's what Ecclesiastes 12.7 tells. Read Ecclesiastes 12.7. Very good. So what does he say? Huh? The dust shall return to the earth and the spirit shall return unto God who gave it. Uh, now, don't think that something went to God. Something invisibly went to God. I'll give you an example. We have taken this all for rent. Correct? Originally, this hall belonged to the owner. Now, when we hired for the rent, this right to live in the hall, it came to us. This hall become our hall. Does it mean this, this hall came running to our house? No, everything is the same. The right to live was of the owner, it came to us. So this is invisible power. Like for example, imagine you would have taken this hall for a lease of three years. So that power, the right to live in this hall would have been with us. 
Imagine three years expires immediately. So, does it mean that uh, Hall went away immediately running from here to the owner? No. No. Hall is here only. We would still be leaving here only. But once if the period expires, immediately this right goes to the owner. This is invisible. Okay. So similarly, when man died, his breath was taken doesn't mean that something went out from him. It, it is invisible power. Okay. So we are see we are living, we are breathing. Can we see it? This is beautifully given, you know, where when Jesus died on the cross, what did he tell to God? Father, into thy hand, I Read Luke 23 46, brother. Read Luke 23, 46. Mm. Mm. So, here, when Jesus uh, surrendered his uh, spirit, the breath to God, doesn't mean that something literally went from earth to heaven. The right to live on this earth was with Jesus. He surrendered that voluntarily to God. Jesus, that one said clearly in John 10, chapter 17 and 18. Read. You see, that power Jesus had to give it or take it. So that's invisible power. So Jesus had the right to live on this earth. And if he did not want, he could, he could take it back also. Therefore, remember, when Stephen died, what did he tell? He used the same words. Yes. Acts 7.59 uh, hmm. 
Ah, see, here also Stephen surrendered his right to live on this earth to God. Doesn't mean that something went from uh, Stephen to God. Now continue, sir. Continue that verse. Continue that ah, after saying this word, he slept. He doesn't say that he went to heaven. So, nobody has the authority or the power to retain this life. Read Ecclesiastes 8. Hmm. Very good. So, nobody can retain this one and nobody can tell that I can't die. Therefore, this is not oxygen. This is oxygen plus breath of life. Uh, Adhikar. Adhikar. So the right to live, the breath of life. Okay, now what all we have studied till now? This all things is beautifully given in Ezekiel 37 chapter. In the valley of the dry bones vision. Ezekiel was taken to the valley of dry bones. So, so there Ezekiel saw that there was only bones there. He did not have life. So God asked, will the bones leave? Ezekiel told, Lord, you only know. Then, uh, then God told Ezekiel to prophesy. So as he began to prophesy, the winds began to blow and bones joined together and flesh came upon the bones. Then nerves came then uh, skin also came. It was so beautiful to look at it. But there was no life in it. So Ezekiel was told to prophesy and command to the wind. 
So once the breath entered, that became a great army. Ezekiel 37 chapter 8. Body was there. There was no sas, there was no spirit, there was no breath of life. Same condition as Adam was created. So once the breath entered, so he became living. So it became a great army. So breath came and blew upon these dead bones. It doesn't say that soul entered into that uh, body. And immediately, suddenly, it uh, came to life. So, what came? The breath of life. Yeah. Very good. So, remember clearly, for the soul to exist, there are two things required. Body and breath of life. So, therefore, the Bible says that the soul dies. Very good. So, we will stop it here. Tomorrow, we will continue another session where we will be seeing then what actually dies when man dies. Okay? Then what happens after death? Bhut Prit. So we'll go and visit them and come. Then we'll see a lot of things from the Bible. So many misunderstood scriptures. And in the last, God willing, if there is time, we will see rich man Lazarus. You heard now, rich man. There was a rich man who lived nicely. There was a beggar. So both died. So where did the rich man go? Hell, very good. So if Atma dies, how did he go? 
ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಅಬ್ರಾಮ್ಸ್ ಭೂಸಮ್ ಪ್ರಶ್ನಕ್ಕೆ So tomorrow full day we will uh, see atma and uh, may your atma may your soul rest in peace <laughs> till till tomorrow ella sabai kura ede cha eta okay so any doubts you have we will see tomorrow okay any question aru cha sanka aru cha mane chai hami bholi nai tesko bare ma i'm sure you you will be having lot of doubts don't worry by end of tomorrow this time Hundred out of hundred percent will clear all the doubts. I have about the Roma de Rey to some Katakuradu, but our Prashna will then go to the top. But you put on a biswast or two, the Java and the park to Sakins up, or a bit of a go Manta by a costly Prashna put a pound on it or some Katakuradu, then it's away, Nostra Nathan. So tomorrow I request everybody to please come by ten thirty. We'll start tomorrow morning. Okay, so we're gonna toss Bodera, this minute man. Yeah, I don't know. So take leave one day. Sacrifice, please. Come physically. See, instead of listening to Zoom, this is better, no? Yeah. Yeah. Ah. so you try to put a little bit of efforts okay i come all over from india there is no leave for me also i work double double time and uh, taken leave and come so you are all locally here so take some risk small risk ಗೋಪಾಲ್ ಟು ಫಿನಿಶ್ ವಿತ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ಪ್ರೇಯರ್